Okay, so I have seen the entire first season of Lucas Cage, and I'm just going to give you my thoughts on it. Did, honestly, it's not really all that much different from, uh, from, from the first video, but still, it's updated, updated impressions, if, if you want that, if you're interested. I don't know, fucking Jesus Christ, what, 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 what am I doing? Also, I'm probably going to spoil it. So uh yeah, if you don't if you don't want that spoiled for you, just don't don't watch this video. Go watch the the first impressions if you want. I don't know. It's, it's a video that I made. You can you can go watch that. But yeah, I'm just going to talk spoilers. I'm not going to necessarily go out of my way to spoil things, but it's probably going to come up in the video where I spoil something. Like I just want to talk freely about it. Okay, so I really really enjoyed Luke Cage. I didn't necessarily love it as much as Daredevil season 1 and 2 or Jessica Jones, but I still think it's really solid. Like it's I th I do think it's under those two shows, but it's not bad. Like it's still really good. And uh, like a lot of that goes to Mike Coulter playing Luke Cage because he's really good. He's all like, I'm just one. I just want to be a regular Joe. I'm no hero. I just want to be a normal person. But you know, you uh, you can't be stabbed. You're you're bulletproof. You're not normal, Luke. So go go save some people. This is what this is what you gotta do. He's all like, I'm just wearing a hoodie. Uh, look at me. I'm Luke Cage, normal Joe. But yeah, like I like I I do think that Mike Coulter is really good in this role, he really sells it, and yeah, like, it's, he's, he's good, he's charismatic as all hell, like, I just want to go grab a beer with him, even though I'm, uh, I'm underage, but I, I can still, I, I can dream, I can dream, and I also like all the supporting cast, like, Misty Knight, she's a detective, and she's all like, I'm a female detective, I'm a hard-hitting detective, but no, I actually do think that this is, I, I actually think this is a great character, because, you know, she's just a strong woman, but they don't ever try to, like, bang you over the head with the fact that she's a woman. Not like most movies would do, like, it's just like, she's a cop. The fact that she's a woman has nothing to do with the fact that she's a good cop. So, like, I, I do, I think they handle that really well. And Scarf, he's, uh, he's there. He's a person. He's in the show. Not much to say about him, I don't even know why I'm bringing him up. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, he's there. I guess, I guess I do kind of want to bring him up, because I did say that the acting, um, in my, my first impressions video, I did say that the acting wasn't very good, but I kind of realized as the series went on, that it felt that way because of the script. The script just wasn't very good, I thought, in the first, uh, in the first few episodes, but I, the series does actually get better, and you kind of see that, hey, these are pretty good actors. They, they were given a garbage script, uh, in the first few episodes, but these are pretty good! It's pretty good. And yeah, this guy's a, he's a, he's there. I mean, like, there's a storyline with him where, you know, he, he's corrupt and he, he shoots, uh, he shoots a guy. Who does he shoot? Or does he, no, he doesn't shoot a guy. He chokes a guy. Yeah, yeah. He shows, he chokes a guy out. And we're like, oh no, I, but I thought he was a good guy, but he is actually bad. But yeah, you know, he's pretty good. Whatever. Why, why have I dedicated this much time to this dude? No, but I also really like this guy, uh, Theo Rossi is his name, he plays Shades. He's just kind of this guy where he first appears, you think he's kind of a, uh, he's like, okay, this is a guy, he's here. That I, I enjoy saying that people are in shows, uh, apparently. But no, like, you kind of see this guy at first and you don't think too much about him. But as the show goes on, you kind of see that this guy's kind of something, something off about this guy. Is he going to be a big player? And then he is, and I really love that scene in the elevator. Where, you know, you think he's gonna die, because when I was watching, I'm like, okay, okay, this guy's over, he's done. But then he actually gets out of that situation, and I'm just like, okay, they're doing something with this guy. I don't I don't think this guy's over yet, and then, you know, lo and behold, uh, let me actually talk about the, the lady that he, he's, a, he's a partner with. Uh, Alfrey Woodard? Alfrey, Alfrey Rudard? I don't know, is that how you pronounce her name? I don't know. By the way, I thought she was fantastic in the series. Just, you know, you, you look at her and you know that there's some, there's some rage behind her. Like, I was kind of expecting her to do something. Totally didn't see what actually happened. I didn't, I, I honestly did not see that coming. It was amazing. And honestly, I think that was a turning point of this show where I was like, holy shit, okay. Just for, just for this, this show has already done something that I just didn't see coming. And honestly, most comic book related media probably wouldn't do. But uh, don't 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 think you slick Marvel. I see what you're doing, recycling your actors. I mean, I'm glad you did because she was amazing. But I see I see what you're doing. You can't 
you don't 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 think you can just slip that by without me noticing. All right, just just want to let you know. Just want to let you know, Marvel. What was that? You want you wanted more actors whose names I can't pronounce? Well, here you go. Uh, what's uh, Maher Mahershala? Ma Mahershala Al Ali? I believe I got. I believe that's right. Am I gonna fact check myself? <laughs> you're you're funny. But uh, no, yeah, this guy this guy was really good too. Like you know, he had his uh, he had his ending prematurely to the show's ending, but. Yeah, yeah, you know he. But honestly, for what for the time that he was in it, I thought he was fantastic. In fact, I thought he was better than the bigger villain that ends up being the villain. I don't, honestly, I I know his name is what's his name? shit. I completely forgot what that guy's name is. Don't worry, I'll find out before I get to the next segment of my review. But this guy, he was really, really good. I like you know just the the way he presents himself on screen. Like when you see this guy on screen, you cannot take your eyes off of him. And I loved his little his little tantrums, cause you know all your Netflix, your all your Netflix villains have to have chan tantrums every once in a while. They got they got to you know they got to let some steam blow. You know that's just kind of a thing with Marvel Netflix villains. And then you know you've also got this guy here. So he he ends up becoming like the main villain. This is the big hoo ha. And like I liked him at first, like especially when he was coming after Luke Cage and he shot him. Like I was like, holy shit, who's this guy? And, you know, I like that. The actor, I thought, did a pretty good job, but when you start getting into his backstory of him being, like, Luke Cage's half-brother or his step-brother or whatever, and that's the reason why he's coming after Luke Cage, I didn't love all of that. I thought that was like, really? Are we really back at that stage where all all of superheroes, like, all, all their villains have to be connected to them in some way? Are we really going back to that? But, you know, it was it is what it is. Uh, my, my main problem with him is this. This right here. What is this? <laughs> like, I guess, I get it, they were trying to make it kind of look like how he did in the comic book. But, uh, you know, this is definitely one of those situations where what works on the comic books, uh, the comic book page does not necessarily work on the live action screen. Like, they, they could have, they could have done this better. Like, I don't know if it's a budget thing but they, they could have made this look better, that's all I'm saying. And then from this, let me transition to some of the action sequences. I didn't love the action in this. I I don't know, it just... I thought it could have been better. I thought it could have been better. Just like uh, Diamondback's costume, I thought the action could have been better. I don't know, because like, even in Jessica Jones, that bar scene was amazing. I loved that, because it felt fun. There was never really an action sequence that I got that feeling from in Luke Cage. Like, okay, in this scene right here where he's going into this uh, this, this place and uh, I don't I honestly don't remember what he was doing here. I think he was getting something, some evidence or some shit. I don't fucking remember. But yeah, like when he gets to like when he goes upstairs and he's in that room and he grabs the couch and he just swings it around. I thought that was amazing. Like I loved that moment. And then there's also this moment here where the guy tries to punch him and then he breaks his hand. I thought that was amazing. But those are really the only two standout things. Oh yeah, and also the car door thing, that was pretty cool. But other than that, other than those three specific moments, I I don't know, just the action wasn't wasn't good for me. It, it I'll be honest, look, this is not a fair comparison at all. But especially in that uh, uh in that scene where he's in the lab and he just gets all angry and starts screaming, it kind of reminded me of Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> It reminded me of Lou Ferrigno's Hulk, and okay, that's it's not fair. The action just didn't have the weight or the gravitas that Daredevil had, and I'll be honest, I don't think Jessica Jones had had it up to the level of Daredevil either. But I, I don't know, I I still think they handled it better. Like I, I think they worked with Jessica Jones, and look, maybe it's just because Luke Cage is too powerful of a character. Like the guy has skin that's as strong as steel. Like I. I get it. That's hard to make really intense action sequences out of. So I, I, I do get it. I just, you know, I just don't think any of the action was nearly as good as anything that was in Daredevil seasons one or two. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to talk about Rosario Dawson. Uh, sorry about that. I don't know. I just, it's it slipped my mind. It slipped my mind. But no, she was also really good in this. You know, she's basically the Nick Fury of Mar these Marvel Netflix shows. So yeah, like she's really good. Although you gotta, you gotta stop bringing Rosario Dawson on, being like, "Oh, I know a guy. I know a lawyer. I know a guy that could help us with this situation." So yeah, you either bring on Daredevil or you don't mention him. 
All right, stop this Marvel. Like I know, we're, I know we're gonna get defenders, so we're gonna get all these characters together at some point. But you, you stop this. All right, Marvel. You hear me? You, you, I'm, I'm talking to you, Marvel. You better stop this, or Netflix, whoever has full power over these shows, stop this. All right, just wanna, just wanna make that clear. But anyways, guys, Luke Cage is a really, really solid series. It's just, it's, it's good. It's solid. Again, I didn't love it as much as I loved uh, Jessica Jones. Or uh, the Daredevil seasons one or two, but it's still really solid. So I would definitely recommend seeing it if you haven't. Even though I told you that there would be spoilers, Ugh. that even though I yeah even though I told you there would be spoilers, sorry I burped it. Oh my gosh, I just burped again. I don't know if the microphone picked that up. God damn it! I'm trying trying to do a goddamn video here. What the what the hell is going on? But yeah, anyways, you know I think it picks up after the first few episodes. Like the first few episodes are kind of like eh, but you know then I I think the writing gets better and I think all the actors like really sing into the roles a little bit more. But yeah, this is really solid. Go go check it out if you haven't seen it. I don't know. It's good. Look at look at look at look at my culture. Look how charismatic he is. Look at him. This is, this is a good guy. Good guy. But I want to hear what you guys think. Tell me in the comments below. Oh, I think you're being too hard on the action. The action was fine. Why are you being too hard on it? Or you can be on the opposite end of the spectrum. I don't know why you like this show. I don't know why you like it so much. It wasn't very good. You can, you, can, you can tell me whatever you want in the comments. I'll definitely read and respond to all of them. Actually, I probably would. I don't, you know, I don't know. I, I, I will. Just leave a comment down below. I'll probably respond to it. Anyways, yeah, while you're doing that, you can subscribe. And actually, yeah, if you do want to subscribe to my channel for some reason, and you want to be a regular viewer, I should let you guys know that, you know, for the entire the, for the entirety of this channel, I've been trying to post every Friday. I missed uh, last Friday. I've been missing a lot, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, in, I'm still in high school. And, you know, with school and this, it's just, it's really hard to be able to post videos on a regular basis. But I'm going to try to, because by switching my my video posting date from Friday to Monday, I do think that will make it a lot easier for me to be able to get videos out every single week on a, on a regular basis. So this will be coming out on a Friday, uh, well, tomorrow, which is a Friday. But just to let you know, videos will be coming out every Monday. Even though all my other videos say that it's going to be on Friday, that's not a thing anymore. So yeah, this is the first video where I'm announcing that my regular upload schedule will be Mondays every week, new video. So be on the lookout for that, I guess, because that'll also work with all these Netflix shows. And, and any time a movie comes out, then I can just post it on the Monday because I'll be binging it or watching a movie over the weekend. So yeah, I just think Monday is a really prime spot for me and my schedule. And you should also buy Beats by Dre because Luke Cage wears Beats. And because Luke Cage wears Beats, you should also buy Beats. That's, that was really hard to say. But because Luke Cage wears Beats, you should wear, 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 wear Beats. Can, yeah, sponsorships. This video is definitely not sponsored by Beats, by the way.